What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. It's that time again, it's time for the fits of the week where I bring you some of the best menswear fits from around the socials, just in time for some weekend inspiration. Before we get into it though, I'd just like to ask if you get anything from this video at all, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, check out archermoist.com for premium menswear and sign up to the Substack The Guidance, where I send out a near daily newsletter with links to pre-owned items I find during that day. So most days I've been doing this where I've just compiled a list of between 10 to 15 items I find during that day. And there are items I think you might like, the sort of clothes, you know, tailoring and other stuff, the brands you sort of like if you have been following me for a little while. Um, and uh, it's been quite popular so far. So yeah, definitely check that out. It's the guidance on Substack. The little newsletter I send out with the links is called Thrifted Garms Club. And uh, yeah, these are like cool one-off pieces that uh, I think are really good deals as well. So it's good to like act fast because once they're gone, they're gone. And also thanks for the feedback on the vlog I did. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, I think it's the last video to this one. Uh, unfortunately, last week's fits of the week, the file corrupted. So it was, had a bit of a mare. But um, yeah, it was where I went to Harrods and uh, filming in public took a little bit of getting used to and like speaking in public. It's very different to doing it here in this kind of like controlled safe space so uh yeah bear with me with that as i sort of like learn how to film and hold things and say things in in a weird different way um but yeah i've got another one coming up next week um and i'm definitely going to be doing more as well so if you have any suggestions for places in mostly in london so far but i guess anywhere else uh you'd like to see me head to um definitely drop them in the comments and uh any other sort of suggestions i've got an unboxing video i've got to do i've got this big box from buck mason which I'm going to do hopefully next week as well. Um, so there's lots of stuff coming up. I've just got to find the time to sit down and do it. So um, also, I'm I'm a bit more dressed up than usual today um, while filming because I've been out and about. Uh, apologies if tie's a bit skew if, Um I've been all over the place today. So I thought I'd just take some time to film this because there's some nice fits that have been happening this week. So without further ado... Let's get into the fits. So the first fit is more of an array of outfits, actually. You guys have probably seen it if you're following Matt Horanic from the WM Brown Project. He put on like a vintage car rally over in Scotland with some of the great and the good of the menswear scene. People like Manish Puri, you've got Paul Crowton, you've got Jamie User, Jamie Ferguson was photographing it. Familiar faces that you would have seen out there in amazing fits in this beautiful backdrop of Scotland and uh, with some really cool vintage cars, cigars, whiskey. It just looks like a really cool event, and uh, yes, I'm very jealous. You've got this double-breasted grey one from uh, Matt he's wearing with this kind of like cognac suede uh, loafers. You've got, you've got Buzz Poke wearing this really nice grey tweed jacket with his cream sweater underneath. A cool hat as well and some denim. You've got uh, Jamie Ferguson wearing some denim, a nice double-breasted a uh, herringbone jacket, a green shirt, sweat around the neck. I definitely suggest if you haven't seen it already, check out the Instagrams or of all these people you'll see. Just follow the thread of, of outfits. Uh, Lorenzo Soddy as well was photographing. You've got Matt Woodruff from J Musa. It's just so many really cool outfits that it's actually hard to just pinpoint one. Um, I have certainly saved a ton to a Pinterest board. They're all like really nice like colours, earth tones, nice wintry knitwear going on. Um, just a, a really cool event and, and really well shot by uh, Jamie Ferguson and, and Lorenzo Soddy as well. So next up we have Pavel Kupras and he is wearing a really nice pair of high-waisted grey, dark grey flannel trousers, some brown suede lace-ups I believe, a lighter colour sort of roll neck and then this really lovely tan jacket. There's lots of visual texture in this image as well with all the items just in different ways and it gives a really nice a uh, bit of separation and interest to the whole outfit. Um, I love that jacket. I think I spoke in the last, in one of my last videos about um, sort of tan jackets or camel jackets, and I really want one, and this is a really beautiful example. I love those trousers, um, just the colors working really well together. Gray on gray also, um, just a really nice fit, with, and the colors really make it. So next up we have Adam Nussel, and he's wearing a beautiful gray flannel suit you've got this mid to mid-ish sort of blue shirt and i don't think that's denim just zooming in it's kind of like a mid to light blue shirt and then a navy tie um love those type the grays and the blues going so well together and especially when you've got a bit of a tan on like he has it's a really nice cool colored suit that really makes uh, just that slight bit of tan pop uh, but yeah really beautiful outfit um i've just seen his shoes a little bit here we've got a pair of darker sort of charcoal socks and then a brown suede pair of, of loafers 
brown suede loafers i mean i wear them all the time they are by far my most used and favorite shoe they go with so much and uh, they're just a nice way of making things just a tad more casual um especially in the winter as well they just give a bit of a um, bit of warmth as well to an outfit like this so our next look is from richard gelding which is a store here in london if you're not aware they have an amazing selection of brands uh, in there and this is a jacket that they have from canali and they've also paired it with a denim shirt and a brown wool deep V bit of knitwear from Altia. I love the pairing of the colors. I think they go so nicely together. For the trousers, I can't really see too well from this, but I think they're like a moleskin, kind of either brown or a gray, uh, but they go so nicely with everything else. And um, it's, uh, yeah, just a really nice, lovely color palette. I like the deep V of that um, bit of knitwear as well. Um, I'm really warming to that now. I never thought I'd go for a, a deep Vs ever again, but this is a, it done in a really uh, tasteful way. And uh, yeah, one that's just all about uh, an interesting colour palette for me. Right, so next up we have Elliot Sumner, who is a singer and an actor, and I believe he's in the new sort of Ripley thing on Netflix. He's wearing this brown suit from Jamie User. It's just a suit, but it's a beautiful suit nonetheless. Uh, we see a load of that from like celebrities wearing uh, double-breasted suits with like a vest underneath or nothing underneath. And I just think this is just a really nice version of it. You've got a nice size lapels, but they're not too overbearing. Like they're quite, they're quite big. But working with a soft shoulder, um, they're not too distracting. Um, you've also got like it's a brown color, so it's a little bit more understated. Um, and yeah, just the cut of the suit's beautiful. You can definitely wear this in a more sort of like contemporary way, like this, or you can go full belt and braces, uh, shirt and tie, and um, dress it up quite a lot. So yeah, really, really lovely suit. And um, you guys know I love a brown suit. This definitely gets the approval for me. Well, our next fit, we have Jeff Goldblum. You've got Jonathan Bailey there as well, who's always very well dressed, but the shorts look isn't really for me. Um, Jeff's one is a bit interesting because I love the color palette. I love the sort of sage and green, olive sort of color up top, uh, blocking that off. Um, the trousers, I'm not 100% sold on. It's a wider leg. Um, the material sort of creases very easily, so you can see that quite a lot in here. I think maybe you, could, you can go for like a wider length, but just a little bit slimmer and maybe in a different fabric uh, would work better. I like the boots with the trousers though, uh, like quite ch chunky um, black boots. So it, it goes well together and ultimately he looks great. He's Jeff Goldblum, he can wear what he wants. Um, but yeah, if I just change the trousers out a little bit, I think this is a really beautiful outfit. I love the colours and let's say the green and green together. Um, but uh, let me know what you think. Drop in the comments below. And here we have Vincenzo Attalini. I love this image as a whole because first of all, we've got a really nice soft bit of tailoring, a bit of pattern in there. You've got the denim shirt. You've got the pocket chief sort of poking out. A kind of sort of similar color to the jacket. So it's not really doing too much apart from adding a little bit of a break around this area. And then also there's like the collar out and he still looks great. Like, you know, for a lot of guys, if you've got your collar poking up at the top of your jacket, it's, um, you look a little bit scruffy, but in this very Italian, wonderful way. And, um, you know, a lot of people would disagree and they'll say it looks scruffy and all this sort of stuff. But I think it just adds to the charm of the whole thing. The whole thing I personally like about menswear is that you can just wear it as you want and you can express yourself in your own way. I know he's not purposely poking that collar out of his jacket, but it's um, he doesn't care. It's clothes at the end of the day. So I think that's the key. Like It's only clothes and that sort of shows in this image for me that it doesn't really matter. Take the photo, post it. He is wearing the clothes. The clothes aren't wearing him. doesn't care if there's just a little thing off here and there. Um, Sprezzatura, baby. And also the color palette here is just really nice. Everything looks lived in and worn as well. So I just really like that as an image in general. And then finally, we have Killian Murphy in this very simple outfit. A high-waisted pair of navy trousers. You've got a black pair of boots on. And I think another sort of like green uh, polo shirt. I think, believe that is like a sort of a dark sage olive uh, polo shirt. And then this suede jacket on over the top. That very clean simple I like the cut of the jacket it's got some interesting lapels one button uh, closure i believe and uh it's something just a little bit different for the outfit like you don't see too many of this sort of cut it's uh it's interesting it goes nicely with the trousers and the polo shirt um and for just a really good wearable outfit i think he absolutely nails simplicity killian so well and you just have to add that little bit of detail in because i think you know a lot of stylists will go down the route of going heavily over the top but because you're on the red carpet you want to stand out you want to be photographs i think Killian does it really nicely um with his stylist where 
it's just simple stuff but just done with just little bits of difference be it like the cut of a jacket or the material or just a little color difference to to make some contrast but the whole thing is still super wearable like i would definitely wear this whole outfit but anyway guys they were the fits of the week let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite remember to check out archer and woods and sign up to the Substack the guidance thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers